Airlines use a variety of factors when deciding where to fly, such as market demand, profitability, competition, route performance, and government regulations. Market demand includes the number of passengers traveling to and from different destinations, frequency of travel, and seasonality of demand. Profitability includes the cost of operating a route and the potential for ancillary revenue. Competition includes the level of competition on a particular route and the strength of competitors. Route performance includes load factor, revenue per available seat mile RASM, and on-time performance. Government regulations can also impact airline route planning. There are many methods by which airline companies can decide the routes for their flights, but we are here to describe the main points by which airlines can decide where their flights should be flown. There are the methods which are described below. Stakeholders involved in airlines. When airlines decide where to fly, they typically consider a variety of factors, including market demand, competition, and profitability. To ensure that these decisions are made in a way that is fair and beneficial to all stakeholders involved, it is important for airlines to involve these stakeholders in the decision-making process. Some of the stakeholders that airlines may consider involving in their decision-making process include own customers. Airlines can conduct market research to determine where their customers want to fly and what routes they would be most interested in. They can also seek feedback from customers to understand their preferences and needs. 2. Employees. Airlines can involve their employees in the decision-making process by seeking input from pilots, flight attendants, and other staff members. This can help to ensure that the airline's decisions are feasible and can be implemented effectively. 3. Local communities. Airlines can work with local communities to determine what destinations would be most beneficial to the area. This can involve consulting with local tourism boards, chambers of commerce, and other organizations to understand the potential economic impact of new routes. 4. Government regulators. Airlines may need to work with government regulators to secure the necessary approvals to fly to certain destinations. This can involve engaging with aviation authorities and other regulatory bodies to ensure that the airline's plans comply with all relevant laws and regulations. 5. Shareholders. Airlines may need to consider the interests of their shareholders when making decisions about where to fly. This can involve evaluating the potential financial impact of new routes and considering the needs of investors and other stakeholders. Airline size impacts route. The size of an airline can certainly impact its route network and the destinations it serves. Larger airlines typically have more resources and a wider reach, which allows them to fly to more destinations and offer more frequent flights. They may also have agreements with other airlines, allowing them to offer connecting flights and expand their network even further. Smaller airlines, on the other hand, may have a more limited route network and may focus on serving specific regions or markets. They may also have fewer resources and may not be able to offer as many flights or amenities as larger airlines. The Hub Impacts Route Yes, the location of an airline's hub can have a significant impact on its route network. A hub is a central airport where an airline operates a large number of flights and connects passengers to various destinations. By consolidating flights at a hub, airlines can efficiently transfer passengers from one plane to another allowing them to serve more destinations with fewer flights. The location of a hub can also influence the airline's route network. For example, if an airline's hub is located in a major city or tourist destination, it may prioritize flights to other major cities or tourist destinations to cater to the needs of its passengers. Additionally, if an airline has a hub in a particular region, it may have more flights to destinations within that region, as well as more connections to other regions through its hub. Competition for route to fly. Competition for a route to fly can vary depending on the demand for travel and the number of airlines already serving that route. If a route is in high demand and there are few airlines flying it, there may be more competition among airlines to serve that route. On the other hand, if there are already many airlines serving a particular route, there may be less incentive for new airlines to enter the market. When airlines compete for a route, they may do so by offering lower fares, more frequent flights, or better amenities and services. This can benefit consumers by providing more options and lower prices, but it can also be challenging for airlines, as they need to find ways to differentiate themselves from their competitors and maintain profitability.
Airline Destination Popularity The popularity of a destination is one of the factors that airlines consider when deciding where to fly. The more popular a destination is, the higher the demand for flights to that destination, and the more likely it is that the airline will consider adding it to its route network. To assess the popularity of a destination, airlines may look at a range of factors, such as the number of visitors to the destination each year, the availability of tourist attractions and activities, the strength of the local economy, and the level of business travel to the area. They may also consider the competition on existing routes to the same or similar destinations. The Price Point Price point is one of the important factors that airlines consider when deciding where to fly. When airlines consider opening a new route, they typically analyze the demand for travel to that destination and the cost of providing service to the destination, including the cost of fuel, aircraft maintenance, and personnel. To evaluate the price point for a potential route, Airlines may use data analysis tools and market research to assess the demand for travel and the willingness of passengers to pay for tickets to that destination. They may also consider the prices charged by competitors on similar routes and the potential for revenue from ancillary services such as baggage fees and in-flight amenities.